Hey guys, Ray23179 here, coming to you live from the top of this tree. No, oh, okay. Anyway guys, today we're going to be doing a mod review. I haven't done one in a little while because I've been trying to figure out mod installations for 1.6. It's a bit more complicated than it used to be, so uh, yeah. And on on that subject, um, if you want a mod installation tutorial for this mod, which I haven't told you the name of yet, which I probably should soon, uh, leave a comment in the area, the comment section below, and I will make you a installation tutorial. And also, since, um, uh, wait, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, this mod is called the Good Night's Sleep mod, and this mod makes snow. That really annoys me. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't make snow. That really annoys me, but snow does really annoy me, so I'm turning it off. Anyway, uh, this mod adds two dimensions. Now, remember I did the dimensional doors mod. That one adds one dimension. This one adds two dimensions. Well, in addition to this already dimension that we're in right now called the overworld. It adds the dream dimension and the nightmare dimension. So, first... Crafting recipes, as always, and don't don't be worried about the floating chests. Those are important to be floating. These are the ones we're going to start with down on the ground, and we have four smelting recipes, which I shall show you. I just want this to be... Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start. Start this off, and let's not have you distracted. There. Um, okay, so... Um, hold on. I want to turn this off. Can I turn you off? Because, ah, disable. Back, back. There we go. It's a bit distracting for me. Um, there's a glitch, uh, real quick, with the items in this mod. If you put them in chests, uh, it, like, sticks the chest open sometimes. So, if you see that, just don't be alarmed. It's glitch with the mod. Okay, so, first of all, we have crafting recipes. Now, one of the crafting recipes is the Dreamwood Planks, and this comes from Dreamwood, which I will show you where to get this later. Uh, it's in the Dream Dimension, and I'll show you how to get it and stuff like that. So, you'll get four Dreamwood Planks from doing Dreamwood, just like your normal wood. Uh, same thing with white wood. And the Deadwood Planks, uh, I tried to find a way to do it um, according to the, um, the logs in the file. Um, Deadwood planks are supposed to be crafted using birch wood, but you can only make birch wood planks by using birch wood. And if you put in deadwood planks, like if you put in dead wood right here, it does not make deadwood planks. It just makes nothing. So I'm not sure what that is, which is why I put that there instead of dead wood, because deadwood crafting recipe doesn't seem to be working. Uh, that's bug. I hope it updates in the next version of this mod. Anyway, um, this is a hard candy, and that's crafted by doing four candies like that. And, yeah, I'll show you how to get all these items and stuff later. Um, this is the rainbow block, and that is crafted by doing nine rainbow ingots like this. As you can see, I'm, like, spoiling a bunch of the items in this mod. But don't worry, it's okay. Block of positite. We'll use nine positite like this. Um, solid necrum is four necrum like this. Shadowstone is nine zitrite ingots like that. Um, next we have, you see, see, see the glitch? But if you go into them again, and, uh, it's glitching. There we go. Uh, if you go into this one, we have the negatite block, which is nine negatites, just like that. The lollipop, which is a stick with candy above it, just like a torch, except with candy in place of the coal, uh, or charcoal. Uh, the four candies will come from putting in a hard candy block. Uh, candy can also be crafted from the lollipop. And we have the rain nine rainbow ingots will come from a rainbow block, because it took nine ra rainbow ingots to make the rainbow block. Um, the pot of gold, which is an actually interesting item, which I'll show you what it does later, is... The, the uh, seven rainbow ingots like that over the top. And music is on. It's a little bit too loud. I like the music, but not so loud. So that's... Okay, so block of gold in the middle and cauldron below everything. Um, nine positite will come from putting in a block of positite. Luxurious stew in yellow print. That's, that, that's nice. Uh, is a bowl with... Um, that mushroom above it 
with the powdered sugar on top. The uh, mushroom's called Hope, which is really, really weird. Really, really weird. I don't know why it shouldn't, like, shouldn't be called, like, the Hope Mushroom or something? Oh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. But it's just called the Hope. And it has powdered sugar, and you don't, you don't have to put it like this. You can put it any way you want, and it will still make the luxurious stew. Now we have the powdered sugar, which can be made by either putting in candy or sugar. Uh, the necrotic extract can be crafted by doing either rotten flesh or necrum in the crafting table. And all these chests are open. Close all of you. Okay, there we go. It annoys me. And now the beds. The pride and joy of this mod. The strange bed is um, crafted by doing a bed, a despair, and a hope all in one. A despair is another kind of mushroom, which I think should be called the despair mushroom. You put them all in there, and it doesn't matter how you put it, it still works. Um, that will give you the strange bit. Oh, and by the way, the hope and despair mushrooms, um, will grow on stone, and they're, like, extremely rare. So you can find them in the overworld, but it's extremely rare to find, um, these thingies right here. These two. Yeah. And they grow on stone, so you might find them in caves and stuff. Anyway, the wretched bed is crafted by doing a bed with a negatite or next to it. Or negatite, just negatite. And the luxurious bed is two crafting recipes, which is strange bed next to positite or bed next to positite. And I think the wretched bed also has a second crafting recipe. Yes. It's either the strange bed next to a negatite or the bed next to a negatite. And again, all of the bed crafting recipes, doesn't matter how you put them, they will all work. Just fine. Oh, close. There we go. Um... Anyway, the negatite block will give you nine negatites, and the wretched stew is a despair, necrotic extract, and bowl all in there. It doesn't matter how. Necrum is the solid necrum, and it doesn't matter how you put it in there. Just four necrum. Um, and the last one is the shadow stone with four zitrite, or nine zitrite. Fingers. Then we have four smelting recipes. Uh, one is if you smelt zitrite ore, you can get a zitrite ingot. Smelting negatite ore will get you negatite. Smelting rainbow ore will get you a rainbow ingot. And smelting positite ore will give you positite. So, next, onto these floating chests up here. Trying to go as fast as I can here, guys. Uh, these ones will be quick because it's just the armor and tools. The candy armor is crafted by just doing hard candy in the normal shapes of all your armors. You can see that there. Um, and we have the candy tools, which again, just use the sticks and then replace the material with hard candy and that will give you the blocks. Remember, you can't use the candy, the actual candy item. You have to use hard candy, which crafted by doing four candies. Yeah, and a square. The rainbow tool, this is really hurts my eyes. I don't know why, it just, it just does. The rainbow helmet, leggings, and uh, chest plates are crafted just normal, except to replace with rainbow ingots, uh, boots, and then swords and tools and stuff and shovel. Ho, and the positite helmet is crafted by doing positite, and all the positite armor is positited in its positite way. I don't know why there's two sticks here, and all of its posititeish positation and positivity positite. Yeah. Uh, all that, and I accidentally messed up with the armor on this one, so I accidentally... Can I close all these? Really, I really don't like this. Ha, I figured out how to close them. Wah. Okay, so, we have a bit of an issue with the armors, um, that follow. I don't know if you guys caught this, but right here, this pink and black checkered thing, that means that it's untextured. That means that there's a missing texture, um that the game doesn't have. So apparently the armor of Necrum, the armor of armor of Zitrite, the armor of um Negatite and the armor well yeah that's it. Um the armor of Necrum, Zitrite and Negatite are all untextured and it looks really, really funny when you put them all on. So let's put these on. Yes, yes, you look like this. Uh, there we go. You look like this. This is what you look like. You look like this pink and black mob that runs around and eats things that eat. Yeah. And yeah, you look really, really 
weird and it's really fun to do something by taking off the helmet it makes you look <laughs> really fat and stupid looking <laughs> it's really funny um and then we can we can we can what if we put on just helmet aha we have fat head eee! okay this looks like really really stupid and funny at the same time Anyway, guys, that's the that's <laughs> the untextured stuff. Untextured stuff. That is the armor. So you just have to look at the name to know what it is. Um, I think that he's gonna he or she is going to texture the Necrom, Zitrite, and ah, uh, what's the last one? What's the last one? I'm gonna remember. Negatite. The Necrom, Zitrite, and Negatite um oh, helmets and chest plates and leggings and boots. I think he's he or she is going to texture them in the next version of the mod. Anyway, you have the Necrom tools, which are just solid Necrom. You have to use solid Necrom. You can't use the Necrom extract or the Necrom itself. Um, then we have the Zitrite uh, stuff. Again, this untextured. Uh, just use Zitrite ingots. Um, and the Zitrite tools with Zitrite ingots and Zitrite everything. And Negatite helmet, which is just Negatite, the actual thingy. Not the Negatite block or anything. Just... Negatite. And the actual the negatite tools and weapons look really cool. Like the sword has like little spikes coming out of it. And the um, pickaxe looks like more curved inwards with sharp ends. The axe looks like a battle axe. It's a double-sided axe, which is pretty cool. The shovel looks like a spade, just just a spade. And the the, the negatite hoe looks like it's like it's like a like a flipping scythe or something. Anyway, I'm gonna close the chest. I don't want them open. Okay, there we go. That is nope. Okay, there we go. That is all the crafting recipes. Now, um, I'll be back in just a second to show you guys the weird things of this mod. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and what I have in my hands are the beds. Three beds. I'm going to start showing you guys what this mod can do. So I'm going to place down the luxurious bed, the wretched bed, and the strange bed. And I have this pot of gold to take with me to the dream world. Alright, so each bed takes two different dimensions. Except for the strange bed. And I'll talk about that later. Now, I'm first I'm going to go into the dream world or the dream dimension by right-clicking on the luxurious bed. And it doesn't have to be nighttime, as you can see. I just right-click, and it will download terrain. And then, if we wait a little while for it to download the terrain, I will end up in the um, dream dimension. Hold on. It's uh, loading pretty, pr pretty slowly. I'm just... Just kind of up oh, there we go and as you can see the dream dimensions chunks are not completely loaded okay the dream dimension has grass that's like the dirt is blue and is green light green and everything this is the white wood that you can find with the leaves and everything are different colors we have white wood and this is dream wood so I showed you guys in the crafting recipes and this dream world naturally spawns sponges so that's a way to get sponges uh, you can uh get sponges yeah you can actually get sponges now uh, there are caves here with different kinds of um, materials than in normal caves uh, and in these caves we have baby creepers now it's quite creepy down here because like the baby creepers and everything kinda scary but don't worry if you hit them oh, wait, wait. if you hit them they, they, they don't do anything with me it had to be in survival Game mode zero. All right. They don't do anything, but like, they just like, ugh, I've got anger issues, so I'm gonna blow up and do nothing. So they just suicide right in front of your very eyes, and that is the baby creeper who spawns in the caves of the dream realm. Oh, so creepy. Okay, so pigs and all your passive mobs, natural natchy stuff, they all spawn here in there everything yeah they spawn here um and we have the um little grass plants right here and obviously as you can see the hope spawns here a lot more um abundantly than the uh than it does in the overworld um now if i can find one yeah these are all over the place these things you'll see these right here 
These are diamond trees. They do they look like dreamwood trees, but they're not your diamond trees. If you take like and one of the leaves on this tree yields one diamond. So you just break it with your fist. You have it has to be your fist. Um and then one of the leaves will give you a diamond. So you can only get one diamond per tree, but and um yeah. So it's going to yeah, diamond tree. Um then we have another diamond tree and they're kind of like abundant everywhere. And then this this spawns um not too rare but um it is a little bit hard to find they're kind of scarce this is the present and now what the present does is if you break it with your fist it will give you something random like i just got hard candy gold ingots cake and whenever you break a cake out of one it makes the dirt below it like that it's really, really weird um i got positite Oh, wait, no, maybe that's just because it's on there for a long time. I got rainbow ingot. What do we got here? Another rainbow ingot. Rainbow bush, uh, rainbow berries. More rainbow berries. And I'll tell you how to get rainbow berries later. We got coal. We got more coal. Positite. Hard candy. So it looks like there's a certain range of what they can give you. And that looks like what I'm getting right now. Hold on. I've seen it, like, I know that it can give emeralds and diamonds. So emeralds, diamonds, coal, rainbow berries, rainbow ingots, hard candy, gold ingots, cake, and positite are all the things that I can give you. It never becomes nighttime in this dimension. And, um, these things, uh, these little grass thingies, they're just like the grass in the overworld. And sometimes if you punch them, you can get rainbow seeds. And rainbow seeds can be planted on soil in this dimension. Like, you have to till the ground, though. So let me game mode one real quick. So I can fly back. Do the top of our hill. All right, now up here, I'm going to get a diamond hoe to till the ground with. But I realize you can't. None of the overall duels work here. So you have to actually use one of the mods added... Um, tools to till the ground so you can use you can't use a wooden hoe a stone hoe an iron hoe a diamond hoe a golden hoe but you can use a candy rainbow positite necrum zitrite or negatite oh, um hoe it's about to say or anyway um with this you can um plant the rainbow seeds um and if you leave it sit like this for a while it will become normal normal ground again what we can do is if we use bone meal on it and grow it up it'll look like this and this is a rainbow bush and if we are out of game mode oops then if we break these we'll get the rainbow berries along with some rainbow seeds to replant so yeah kind of works like wheat does in the overworld um yeah one more thing the pot of gold if you place it down something magnificent happens what is this? Rainbows in Minecraft, and it's all nice and square, and look, it ended up on top of a tree. That's pretty cool. Um, I think, though, if you place a block down next to it, it breaks the rainbow. Yeah, you can't place a block down next to it. Otherwise, the rainbow will be broken, and you'll be left with this stupid, lame, old pot of gold. It does nothing, and there's no way to reactivate it, so... Use your rainbows wisely. Oh, you can put them next to each other? Whoa... That's weird. <laughs> Look at this effect. Oh my goodness. That's a bug in the mod that I really like. Let me uh let me try putting one next to this. Aha, and it keeps going. Wonder how Ah oh, we have a bunch of this I'm not even sure what to call this. This is just awesome. <laughs> but if you break one, they all go away. And then you're lock left with a bunch of pots of gold. So be careful. Use them wisely because they're very expensive to craft. So yeah. That is that. Now we're going to go back to the uh, overworld. Oh wait. Also we have uh, cyan flowers and orange flowers. But I don't see like I can't see any orange flowers. No. Oh there's another present. Um. Oh and also these. Hold on let me get over to it. These. <clears throat> so, excuse me, uh, these, if you break them, you'll get candy. Candy, candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get candy. I like candy. Anyway, I'm going to take this luxurious bed and put it back down so I can go back to the overworld. Pop. Yeah, 
we're out of our snow biome now. Forgot to tell you that, or I don't remember if I did or not. I don't think I did though. Ah, and now we are on the wretched bed. The wretched bed looks like this. It looks like a normal bed, except it has like black covers and it's well gray actually covers and they're all ruffled and messed up and there's a little bit hanging off there and it looks really nasty and disgusting let's go in it so if you right click this we'll download the terrain and since i yeah it takes a while i don't know if that's just my computer or something if it's slow or whatever and it's always nighttime in this dimension which is it's really scary wait till you see what it looks like it's um almost like the nether as you can already hear the gas i'm having a bit of lag okay there's gas hi gast okay so there's gas and yeah this is the uh, nightmare dimension the nightmare dim oh god oh my goodness i i just i can't i can't nightmare dimension is where you find dead wood uh but i that glitch where dead wood does not craft dead wood um planks i don't know just there's no point in getting it and then there's the um these they're called tall something thingies whatever what are they called tall nightmare grass and what a nightmare grass does is, like if you step on it it will bring you back to the overworld because it's like pinching yourself in a nightmare and you wake up from it so yeah if you're in survival that will hurt you shut up okay yeah, every hostile mob spawn tier, creepers, blazes, zombies, ghasts, magma cube, swimming in lava, which is, um, but there are those special ores that spawn here, like the necrob ore spawns here, um, the zitrite ore I think spawns here, and there's another one that spawns here, I don't know what it is, but, okay guys, so I need to tell you something. In a previous attempt to record this mod where my game crashed, I found a mob that I did not know was part of this um, mod. This mob looked like Hero Ryan, and he was just standing at the top of this mountain, just like I am right now. I looked at him, punched him in the face, and he teleported, and it scared me. So I was holding still for a little while, and then I turned around ever so slowly. I saw him, and I fell out of my chair. So he was uh, the only thing I could figure was that he was at the top of whatever mountain I was next to when I spawned. And I looked around for him, he teleported away as soon as I saw him, and I could not find another one of those mobs. So, I don't know if I should, like, check the forms again. I didn't I didn't know it was part of this mod. Like, there's some kind of hero brine mod, okay? Mob, I mean, uh, it's, it's in here. Um, and I don't think that you could easily find it because it's definitely one of those rare occurrences because like I watched a couple of mod reviews on this mod just to get familiar with it before I you know try and get all the stuff that most people miss but like I looked for that mob and I couldn't find it. it's a shame that I wasn't like that my game crashed after and deleted the recording i don't know what happened with that but if it had been there i would show it to you guys i promise you I'm not just making this up i saw a hero brine mob i'll like read the forums or something um and look for anything on that but it's definitely here i know that it is and yeah so in this ravine we can see we have the zitronite ore and i'm i i think the other one there's one more ore. i forgot what it was I don't, I don't, I don't, hold on let me let me look. Oh, Negatite Ore. Negatite Ore is like the diamond of the Nightmare Dimension. It's really, really rare. And as I explain stuff about this world, I'm going to be flying around looking for that Hero Brine mob. Uh, anyway, um, it has beautiful landscapings, uh, aside from all the fire, lava, and hectic stuff going on. Uh, it's pretty nice looking. Um, it's a, like the Nether, but made of mycelium instead of Netherrack and stuff. And that's where you find the dead wood. Oh, 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 dude, I found it, I found it. Look, look at this. This looks like Steve, right? No, it's Hero. I found one. Awesome. Okay, so this is a Hero Brine mob, and I'm not sure if it's hostile or neutral because I'm cre gravel uh, i'm not it's sure if it's hostile or if it's neutral because I'm in creative, so that may be the reason it's not attacking. Is this like trying to convince me to step on that? That hurts me, bro. That hurts me. Anyways, it definitely is Hero Brian with the white eyes and everything. I think he wants me to step on that really badly. He doesn't like me. But if I punch him, like so, he 
he makes a really scary noise, and then he goes away. And then, oh, who's that? Where is he? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> this is really scary. Um, yeah, he just teleported away. Not sure where he went off to, but he's not here anymore. Oh, man, I'm so glad I got footage of that. Awesome. See, I told you guys he is part of this mod. Like, you punch him. I want to go into survival mode and, like, die because it, it actually hurts you. I, th I would assume that it does hurt you. Uh, it can teleport, and it usually teleports behind you to attack you. Like, when I found it... Oh, there it is. There it is. When I found it before, it teleported behind me. Tried to start attacking me, and it, this is exactly what happened. Every time I moved towards it, it just teleported away. I think that's what happens when it's in creative. When I'm in creative, I mean. Yeah, but it's a really weird mob. It teleports maybe 50, maybe 20 to 50 meters away from where you were. It comes back to you. But yeah, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for the this dimension here. So I'm going to put down a wretched bed and go head back. Um... And we'll download my terrain. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up somewhere else, but we might not, so let's hope for the best. And hopefully my game's not about to crash. Okay, good, good, good. Just, just, I love the sun. The sun is back! There's sun again! And by the way, it never turns to day in the nightmare dimension, it never turns to night in the dream dimension. And we're having a little bit of lag as it renders. Oh, oh brought us back. Okay. So, then we have the strange bed, and the strange bed is quite strange. Um, lagging pretty bad. Oh, well, I'll just do it from right here. Okay, so the strange bed, if you get into a strange bed that's in the overworld, it takes you... Oh, wait a minute. This is unexpected. Last time I did this, it took me to the... Hmm, to the nightmare dimension. So, let me, let me try this again. It should take me... Wow. Okay. Huh. That is really strange. Oh, there we go. Okay, so according to what I've just experienced, it takes you to any of the random dimensions. Um, yeah, any of the random ones. Uh, so that's kind of weird. Like last time, whenever I put it in the overworld, it was absolutely guaranteed to take you to the um, nightmare. And then if you put one in the nightmare, it takes you to the dream. If you put one in the dream, it takes you here. Huh, so I guess it just randomly does one that match you. Well, that's kind of obvious from the crafting recipes. Huh, that's quite weird. Oh, well. Well, that's it for this mod, guys. So, I hope you enjoy this mod. The download link is in the description. It is a Forge mod, so install Forge before you do it. And, um, I, I think I said this in the beginning of the video. I don't remember if I did. But if you want me to show you guys how to install this mod, um... Leave a comment below because it's, uh, again, uh, kind of hard for, well, not hard, just different from 1.5 to 1.6 to install mods. Uh, we'll all get the hang of it pretty soon. But, yeah, this is RayTD179 reporting to you live from this same tree. Um, yeah, guys, so uh, that's going to be it for this mod. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And, yeah, guys, so until next time, I will see you.